One of the prime motivations for us to develop TileScript was um, the, the fact that more and more manufacturers are now producing um, irregular shaped tiles, or should I say non-rectangular tiles. Um, the first one of these, the most common of these, is the hexagonal tile, and this is something which would have been extremely difficult, I think, again, impossible maybe even to do with the designer. Um, with the tile script, it is really pretty straightforward. I'll just show you how to do that. Um, we'll put in a hexagon. Go to the script. Yes. And then all you do for a hexagonal tile is to put in the command hex, and then you put in the um, a dimension for that, and I'll come to that in a minute. So if I just put in one for now, and instantly over here you can see that you've got a grid of hexagonal tiles, tiles laid out. And you can also create a grid of those if you need to put, for, an exa for example, different designs and different colours on. So let's, for example, put a 2 by 3 in there. Initially that doesn't look any different, but now that is actually um, two rows of three repeating. And so we can apply colours to those, and you'll see that we can put up to six different colours in there. Red, green, blue yellow, orange, four, five, six, and let's put in cyan as the last one there. And so there you have it. You've got a, a repeating grid of tiles, and by changing the um, the size of this grid, so for example we go for a one by three, you can get all kinds of different effects on here using the you know different colors, and then with the colors you can put in different images too. So that's all there is to doing hexagonal tiles. You just put in hex and then the size. So this uh, dimension that we put in for the hexagon, um, you work it out like this. It's, uh, it's one of these things you just have to know what it is and then when you put it in it's fine. So when you've got the hexagonal tile like this, and you have to excuse my, my drawing here, but if you take this widest dimension of the tile then that is you take half of that and that is actually this length this side length so when you when you've got a tile that comes in from a manufacturer look for the longest dimension across these two widest points divide it by two and put it in here so I think that the uh, the new one by sure is 14 and a half inches across there so if you put that in that's all you have to do for hexagonal tiles.